Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film, Fresh. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie starts with Noah, a young single woman and a user of dating apps. She has a date with a man that she met online, when suddenly, her best friend Molly calls her and advises her to cancel her date. Molly cares for her best friend a lot. She doesn't want Noah to continue the date because the man asked her to bring cash on their first meeting. Despite Molly's objections, Noah still tries her luck. But later, she realizes that she should have followed her best friend's advice because the man is a boring, rude racist. He offends her when he says that she should have worn a dress instead of a sweater. In addition to that, he collects the leftover food, saying that it is for his brother. He also insults the waitress and doesn't even hold the door for Noah when they get out of the restaurant. The man says that he would like to have another date, but Noah refuses, so he says bad words to her. Because of her miserable experiences in dating, Noah no longer believes in true love. But things change when Noah meets a cool and charismatic guy named Steve in the grocery store. He approaches her and asks if she already had cotton candy grapes before. He mentions that his niece and sister don't believe that the grapes in that grocery store taste like cotton candy. That's why he will bring it to them. To justify it, he even lets Noah try the grapes, and much to her surprise, it really tastes like cotton candy. Before he leaves, he asks for Noah's number with an alibi that he would like to prove to his family that he met someone who agrees with his idea. Noah finds him nice, so she gladly gives her number. After a couple of days, Noah tells Molly about Steve. They think that he is already married because he has not texted Noah since the day that they met. On the way home, Noah's mood brightens up when she receives a text from Steve. That night, she meets him in a Risto bar. Noah and Steve start sharing about their personal lives. Steve shares that he is a plastic surgeon, and his father is in Texas, while his mother has already passed away. Noah then shares that she is an only child who lives alone, because her father has already died, and she doesn't know her mother's whereabouts. Later on, Noah finds out that Steve doesn't have any social media accounts because he prefers the old-fashioned way of getting to know a person through letters or personal talks. Their conversation continues smoothly. They even shared an intimate night in Noah's apartment. The following day, Noah calls Molly to tell her that she shared bed with Steve. Molly could not believe it, so she asks for Steve's social media accounts. But she is so shocked to find out that he doesn't have any. Noah also tells her that Molly's ex-boyfriend was the bartender who served their drinks. But Molly feels alarmed because nowadays, it is quite impossible for a person to not have any accounts online. Their second date arrives. Noah offers short ribs to Steve, but he refuses because he doesn't eat animals. Noah feels guilty and loses her appetite. All of a sudden, Steve asks if she told someone about him. She answers that she has already mentioned him to her best friend. He then asks for some information about Molly. That night, Steve asks Noah to spend the weekend with him. Noah tells it to Molly. But she freaks out because she doesn't know where Steve will bring her since it is a surprise. To calm Molly, she sends her Steve's picture and promises that she will update her every now and then. Molly doesn't have any choice but to support her best friend's happiness. The weekend comes and Steve picks up Noah with an expensive car. He tells her that they will stay first in his house to avoid traffic and will leave early in the morning. Noah looks uneasy, so Steve reveals that their secret destination is Cottage Grove. Noah's mood changes because she really wants to go there. She sends a message to Molly to inform her of their destination, but it doesn't send because of a poor connection. They arrive at Steve's house in the evening. Noah is amazed upon seeing Steve's huge house. She checks her phone and finds out that there is still no signal, so she asks if Steve has Wi-Fi, but he says that it must have gone out again. Immediately, he changes topic and mentions that he's making her a drink with a twist. Right then, a painting on the wall catches Noah's attention. When she is about to touch it, Steve interrupts her by giving the drinks. After a while, Noah feels dizzy, then loses consciousness. Noah wakes up in a room, tied up. Steve reveals that he locks her up because he will sell her meat to the black market. He adds that he will keep her alive as much as possible to maintain the freshness of her meat. It's then revealed that his wealth comes from illegal business. Noah is shocked by that. She tries to attack Steve, but she is hopeless since she's tied up. Meanwhile, Molly feels at ease when she finally receives a message from Noah that they will go to Cottage Grove with a picture of her location. However, she is not aware that Steve was the one who sent it to stop her from looking for Noah. Noah screams to death when unexpectedly, she hears a voice coming from the next room. She asks for her help, but the woman named Penny, one of Steve's captives, responds that she cannot do anything because they are in the same boat. There is also another woman in the next room who loses her mind because of too much stress. It turns out Steve chooses the victims who don't have many relatives, so no one will be looking for them. 
At the moment, Molly messages Noah to check on her. She receives a response, stating that she's having a great time, and needs to turn off her phone for a while to relax. Molly feels that something is off. She freaks out after finding out that the picture she received from Noah was actually downloaded on the web. Meanwhile, Steve is busy preparing the orders of his customers. He packs the meat together with the stuff and pictures of its owner. It is revealed that the meat belongs to the woman in the other room, who lost her mind. One day, Noah tells Steve that she wants to take a shower. He warns her not to act up, or else she will be punished. On the way to the comfort room, Noah tries to escape, but she fails. As punishment, Steve ruthlessly removes her butt. In the meanwhile, Molly visits her bartender ex-boyfriend to ask for Steve's information. But unfortunately, he refuses because he is afraid to lose his jaw. To convince him, Molly acts cute in front of him. He still has feelings for her, so he says that he will think about it. While Noah is eating her meal, Penny asks if she is okay. She answers that she hates Steve and regrets sleeping with him. Penny is surprised after hearing it, because the other victims, including herself, did not sleep with him. Noah hates herself for falling to a stranger in an instant. While Molly is busy in her office, she receives a message from her ex-boyfriend that contains Steve's information. They found out that Steve is not his real name, and he's married with two kids. Molly is confused, so she immediately searches for Steve's address. Back in Steve's huge house, while Noah is struggling and using the toilet bowl, she suddenly hears Penny scream, then sees Steve carrying her to his laboratory. After a while, Steve goes to Noah's room to bring her cherries and rants about how busy his day was. Unexpectedly, she asks him why he slept with her. He answers that he likes her, but it was a mistake sleeping with her. When Steve leaves the room, Noah continues checking the magazine and finds a message from someone, stating that if they find her message, it means Steve likes them, so they should keep on fighting for their life. It is not normal for Steve to care much for his victims, so the fact that he slept with Noah means something. After finding the message, Noah hurriedly checks on Penny. She responds that she cannot recognize herself anymore, and hopes that Steve and his clients will get tapeworms, that will slowly eat them from the inside until they die. Noah comforts her, and reminds her to stay strong. Unfortunately, Steve amputated Penny's leg and sold her meat. Molly immediately goes to Steve's address. She also sends her location to her ex-boyfriend, in case something bad happens. She rings the doorbell, and Steve's wife opens the door. She tells her that she is looking for her friend, and is hoping that she can help her. She also confesses that her husband has been seeing her best friend. That same day, before Steve goes back to his family, he visits Noah first to ask if she needs anything. When he's about to leave, Noah unexpectedly asks him about the taste of human meat. He answers that if it is prepared right, the taste is delicate and unique. Back to Steve's family, his wife lets Molly enter their house. Molly shows her Steve's picture. But she says that she isn't sure if that is her husband, since the face of the man is not clearly seen. Steve arrives after a couple of minutes. Molly asks if he is Steve, but he answers he's not. He then says that she might be looking in the wrong house. When Molly is about to leave, she tries to call Nova's phone, and to her surprise, the phone rings inside Steve's pocket. Steve's wife then hits Molly's head, causing her to lose consciousness. It is revealed that the wife is aware of her husband's secret. Unfortunately, Steve brings Molly into the huge house as a captive. Steve enters Noah's room, to ask why she wonders what human meat tastes like. Noah says that she is just curious about it, so Steve invites her for dinner. Noah's plan is to seduce Steve, so she can escape. That same day, Steve goes back to his family. It is revealed that his wife is only using a prosthetic, because Steve amputated her leg to sell it in the black market. She used to be his victim, but he falls in love with her. She is also the one, who wrote the message in the magazine that Noah saw previously. The next day, Steve excitedly prepares the food for his dinner date with Noah. He gets the human meat in the storage, then cooks it. Noah asks when and how he started his business. He answers that he was 19 years old when he first ate human meat. In the beginning, he was horrified, but he eventually craved it. So he looked for people like him, and found a community that is devoted to human meat, and that is how his business started. For them, eating human flesh is like becoming one with somebody, which means love. He also adds that his clients only like women's meat because they taste better. When Noah tastes the meat, she sees the people that patronize it. On the plate, an image is seen, which symbolizes a satanic group. After the meal, Steve escorts Noah to her room. Before he leaves, he tells Noah that he likes her because they are both miserable. Afterward, he goes to Molly's room, then takes her to the laboratory. In her room, Noah vomits the human meat that she consumed. Penny asks if she's okay, and if she heard of the voice of the new victim. Little did she know, the new victim is her best friend, Molly. Later on, Steve goes back to Noah's room, to ask her for another dinner date. He even gives her a pink dress to wear. As part of the plan, Noah pretends that she enjoys the dinner. 
Eventually, Steve shows Noah a secret shelf at the back of the painting, where he keeps the belongings of his victims. According to him, the clients feel close to the women whenever they touch their stuff. Noah asks where her belongings are, and Steve answers that he's still keeping them. On the shelf, she sees the things in pictures of Penny, the woman who lost her mind, and the woman who wrote the note in the magazine. But then she's shocked to see Molly's phone. Their dinner date continues. Steve prepares breast meat on the table. Noah feels that the meat is from Molly. She tries to keep her composure, but at the end, she still bursts into tears. As an alibi, she says that she feels awful because she doesn't feel any guilt while eating human meat. Steve kisses her while saying that it is okay to be different. Then he removes her handcuff. After a while, Noah asks him to dance. Then they go to the bedroom. Unbeknownst to Steve, Noah gets toothpaste inside the comfort room. While Steve is lying on the bed, Noah bites his manhood, then puts toothpaste on his eyes. Steve cries out loudly because of pain. Noah then gets out of the room and immediately saves Molly and Penny. Penny's leg is amputated, so they assist her in walking. To confuse Steve, Penny hides in the dumbwaiter, but he notices it, so he grabs a knife. Penny kicks him before he stabs her, then Molly and Noah attack him from behind. The three women have an extreme fight with Steve. Luckily, they knock him out. The ex-boyfriend really worries about Molly, so he tries to follow the location that she sent to him. He stops in front of the house, then tries to contact Molly, but when he hears gunshots, he runs his smelly ass away. The three women run into the woods to hide. Suddenly, Steve's wife arrives and sees bloodstains on the floor. She furiously goes to the woods when she hears gunshots. Finally, the three women corner Steve and constantly punch him to death. Noah asks him to smile before she shoots him in the head. They desperately run to the exit door, but it is locked. Molly tries to use her phone, but there is no signal. So Noah tells them to stay while she looks for her phone. Steve's wife sees the dead body of her husband. She cold-heartedly asks the man to clean the mess and put Steve's dead body on ice. Obviously, she really doesn't have any feelings for Steve and just uses him to survive. Noah finds her phone, but before she goes back to the exit door, Steve's wife attacks her. With all of her strength, Noah stabs her neck with the key. She tries to run, but the wife catches her. Luckily, Molly comes and hits her to death with a shovel. Noah is so surprised to know the woman is actually Steve's wife because she is not aware that he's married. While they are resting under the tree, Noah receives a message from the rude man whom she dated first. The movie ends with Steve's clients, sitting at a round table while staring at the human meat in front of them. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.